This is Kristen Tarones with Keller Williams Real Estate right here in Holly, Pennsylvania, serving the Lake Region and Pike and Wayne Counties. So today we're going to get right into it. We're going to talk about five things to get your home ready to sell and get the most money for it. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, declutter, depersonalize, and clean. These are things that really don't have to cost you much, if any money, and it can absolutely maximize how much you get for your home. You wanna eliminate as much as you can, take out unnecessary furniture, take out knickknacks, get rid of personal things such as photographs, religious items, political items. You wanna make sure that your home can be seen by everyone where they would want to move into. All of these things are super important because you don't want buyers distracted by your personal items. You want them imagining themselves in the space, what the space would feel like as their own. Also, when we declutter and eliminate things, it gives the feeling of more space and makes the person feel like they can fit all of their furniture in the house. I've noticed when I take buyers out and they're in a home that has a lot of personal items, they kind of want to move through it quickly because they feel like they're invading your space and you don't want them to feel that way. You want them to feel like this is the space they can see themselves in. Cleaning. When we talk about cleaning, we're talking really deep cleaning, really, really deep cleaning. I always suggest that uh, you hire a cleaner if need be. You know, they need to clean the baseboards, the walls, the ceilings, light fixtures, anything that maybe we don't touch all the time when we're living in a house. We want to make sure the home looks hotel ready. I know we don't live like this on an everyday basis, but it's important. Things like HGTV and all these design shows have given unrealistic expectations to a lot of buyers. And this is what they want when they walk through a home. They want it to feel like an HGTV home. Number two, we're gonna check out deferred maintenance. What do we mean by deferred maintenance? These are things like maybe little holes in the drywall, your gutters haven't been cleaned in a little while, painting, stuff like that. Uh, cleaning out your HVAC system if that's something that hasn't been done. These are things that, you know, probably won't cost very much money, but buyers get overwhelmed so quickly when they see all these little projects. And something that might only cost you $100 or $200, in their mind, they're creating a much larger amount. So you wanna make sure that we get these things taken care of. Basically, if it's broken, fix it, right? We want to make sure that there aren't any odors in the home. This is something that a lot of times if we're living with pets or smokers, we don't even realize anymore. But when someone else comes in the home and they're not used to those smells, it absolutely can be a turn off. Number three, brighten up your home. I have walked into so many homes and I'm showing it and every blind is closed. The lights are all turned off. Maybe the walls are painted a really dark color. We want a house that's light and airy. Most buyers tell us they want a home with lots of natural light. So not every home, we can't always change that, right? If there's not big, huge windows with light pouring in, we can give that feeling by getting rid of old drapes that might be heavier and covering the windows, lifting up any blinds, making sure the windows are clean so it allows a lot of light through making sure that we put LED bulbs in wherever we can, making sure all lights are turned on when we're gonna have a showing, make sure all any curtains that are remaining are open when we're gonna have a showing. The reality of it is, is that agents that are showing homes oftentimes are showing multiple homes to the same buyers in one day. So they are arriving at the same time that the buyer is. They don't always have time to run through and get the house perfectly ready for um, the buyers to come in and see it in that way. So another thing we talked about was dark paint. This is something that we should absolutely consider. Most homes are not painted very frequently and it's a really low cost way to brighten the space, make it feel more modern and clean. Number five, curb appeal. So the first image that's usually listed on a listing as far as the photos goes is the front of the home. So this is what people are gonna see. This is going to give them their first impression of your house and it's going to set the tone for everything else that they see in your home. So if 
you know, the, the, it's chipping paint and, you know, stuff sitting on the porch and overgrown grass, that's already setting their mindset of what the rest of the home is going to be like. The inside of the home might be absolutely gorgeous, but the reality is that most buyers can't see past that. So we want to make sure that we trim the lawn, trim any hedges, get rid of any large bushes that might cover the front of the home. If it needs to be painted, paint, stained decks is of course very important. Staining decks can absolutely give a facelift. Another suggestion, if you have the opportunity to look at competition for your home, view those houses. So this can be, you know, along with me, we can sit down together and view picture, pictures of the home and really look at it from a buyer's perspective. What does that house bring that maybe yours doesn't and what does yours have that maybe the other home does not? And if you want to find out the five things you should not do when selling your house, you will stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe and click so you get notified when I drop my next video.